Interesting. Need something? Well, not not anymore. What do you need? What can I do for you? Well, I'm back in Morthal, so that's pretty much all I need right now. I need that. And I need to find the hiding spot of a little ghost. Now where would a little ghost go if they were going to hide somewhere? Hmm. Let's go this way. Maybe? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, where else? A little ghosty girl! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah. I need a torch. It's dark, I can't see a damn thing. Ah, <sighs> okay. What can I do for you? Hey, can I borrow that? Have you seen Leolette? Have you seen my wife? Oh. <sighs> uh, no, I haven't. Oh boy. Okay, look for paths around town. Let's go for that approach. Um... Uh... Or not? Hey! Oh boy. Nope, nope, nope. Ah! Uh, I didn't get my shield out in time. A vampire? Taking that amethyst. What was she doing up here? Oh, I see. You found me! Layla was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Leila thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. Okay, you do that. Good night. Uh, well, there's that kid laid to rest. Odd. Um. Uh. Leilet. She's dead. He's speared. She's. She's a vampire. Hey, excuse me. She's dead. Leilet is dead. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um. What could you tell me about her? Honor her memory and that kind of thing. Leilet. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Leilet. You thought she left to join the Stormcloaks? Did you notice anything strange before she did? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. Uh... Something tells me they might have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods! You think Alva is a vampire? I don't know. It's a possibility. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. 
I hope Alpha is not what you think. Uh... Oh boy. Is there... Have you found out anything about Alpha? Do you, uh... Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, that was a long... Hmm. I don't know where Alva lives. I don't know who Alva is. A couple of broad strapping men. And it's late enough that I don't want to go talk to the Jarl about it. And I don't really want to ask around town either. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Oh, she's a red guard. Of course she's a red guard. I've seen her before. Oh. A little bit more shaken up than I thought I was. Uh Why, good evening, Yana. What can I get you, Alva? What can't you get me, sweetie? Um, did you want something to eat? Eat? No, I don't think I'm hungry. Not now, at least. Right. Okay. Uh, tell me if you change your mind. I'll be a minute. Uh, excuse me. Well, aren't you the pretty one? I bet all the men chase after you. Mmm. Not so much. I tend to put them off with all the armor. And the weirdness. I hear the steward asked you to look into the fire. Yeah. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Uh... Water would be good? Of course. And a room, also. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Is there anything you could tell me about Laylette? Now there's a mystery. She ran away when the war started. Her husband Thonier was devastated. No note or nothing. I'm pretty sure she up and joined the Stormcloaks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll be in my room if you need- I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yeah. If you need some protection... Or anything? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Of course. If anyone out there starts giving you a hard time, let me know, okay? Uh, right. She wouldn't ask for help from a skinny little... Yeah, sleep. Okay, good. I didn't get attacked in my sleep. Huh. I forgot I was carrying around one of those. Mmm. That may have not been the best idea for a breakfast, but okay. Apple cabbage with chicken probably would have been a little bit stranger. Okay. You, uh, chat up the men? The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. Hmm. You intend to make sure they take pl uh, plenty of breaks, is that right? These people are like cattle. All they do is work, sleep, and eat. Hmm. I think now is my chance. It's pretty early. Nice decorations, though. What is it, Red God? Just admiring the pumpkins and the banners and everything. Must be nearly, um... <sighs> the one in Hearthfire. Yeah. That one. 
The celebration with all the- Oh, the... did you need something? Huh? Sorry. Yeah? I thought she asked me if I ate something for a second there. Okay, well now I know where she lives. That wasn't creepy at all. Uh, I feel a bit wrong about that, but... Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. <laughs> Maybe so. Uh, y'all Ravencrone. Is Hrogar innocent or not? I... I haven't no, found anything concrete yet. Just... Then stop wasting my well, time. And all will Sorry. I have never doubted that, husband. Ooh. He's a bit young for her, isn't he? Everything all right. Yep, everything's fine. No lollygagging. Of course. You are new to Mortho. What? We've not spoken before. This is interesting. If you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath. Uh. I have done no such thing, nor do I intend to. I simply wish to live my life in peace! That's... That's okay. Why would anyone accuse you of that? The people of Morthal would much rather weave their own horrid tales about my life than simply ask me for the truth. If they choose to fear me in their ignorance, that's their choice. But it will not change what is true. Uh... Okay. Is there anything you could tell me about this particular swamp? The marsh is treacherous. You would do well to not wander at night. <laughs> yeah. You must be a wizard of some sort then, huh? Because that was Till next time. pretty psychic. I'll let you be on your way. Mm hmm. Sorry, lollygagging. Watch the skies, traveler. Oh, I'm watching them. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. Okay, he knows then. Uh, that's pretty... Pretty well locked. And I'm not sure if there's a back door. Or a cellar or anything. Uh, nope. I'm just gonna have to be... really quick about this. Okay, come on. Oh, praise Talos. I won't let you hurt Alva. <laughs> what are... <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want to hurt you. Okay. Have you had enough? You're gonna stay down? No. Not like this. I guess not. I cannot best. Okay. I've just murdered a man in his own house. Or... His lover's house, I'm not sure which. That could have been useful sooner. Okay. That's fine. Alva's nowhere to be seen though, which means she's down here somewhere. Oh boy. Hello. Fancy meeting you here. Oh no, you don't. You wanna? Nope. Put that magic away, please. Mercy! 
Okay. I'm not sure what that was. But, uh... Okay, she slept with a jerk. God, I've made a mess. Okay. And also... Vampires make my skin crawl. Literally crawl. Like, my blood is crawling out of my skin. I don't like it. Uh... So she's a romantic. Met a man today picking wildflowers. Exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. Yada yada. Uh... The true colors of the night. Movarth must be a vampire then. Hrogar was easy to seduce. Oh. Oh boy. And to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Oh! Mm hmm. Okay. Looks like I'm going to be doing some uh, vamp. Bleh. Vampire hunting. That's disturbing. Okay. I should probably go show this to the Jarl before someone sees this mess.